Uh, I am just waiting for other participant. Yes, I mute you. If you have any question, uh, let me know. I will allow you. Uh, when you have question, please raise your hand or uh, send a message when, uh, within Zoom. I will allow you or open your mic. Okay. All participants, please open our studio. Open our studio and import ficus file and type done within chat. All participants, please open our studio and import ficus file and type done within chat. Then I will move to next step. In our previous classes, we have learned how to import Excel file and how to activate or install packages. Now, uh, today we are going to again repeat some uh, basic about plots. So how to create plots in R. So we will start from very basic. Actually, uh, today we are going to create plot, but uh, our main uh, task is to learn reading and writing. Reading and writing of R. Our main task is reading and writing. We should be focused on reading and writing, not on plots. Plot is just for practice. Okay. Now, to our, main, uh, our task is basic plot. So the first question should be arise in your mind. Which package will be used for plot? The first question should be arise in your mind, which package will be used for creating plot. For example, here is uh, Dr. Mandrento. Uh, Dr. Mandrento uh, and his supervisor is sitting in their office. Uh, M for Dr. Mandrento and SP is for supervisor. So here is Dr. Mandrento. And here is his supervisor. His supervisor say, please draw some plots on ficus data set between pepal width and petal width. It is a task for Dr. Mandrento. No, the first question should be arised in Dr. Mandrento mind is which package will be used for creating a plot? Which machine will be used for creating a plot? Which instrument will be used for creating a plot? His supervisor replied, you can use ggplot2. You can use this machine. You can use this package. You can use this 
software. You can use this app or you can use this package for creating a plots. Now, next step, he need to check ggplot is found in R or not. Now, he need to confirm ggplot who is found within R or not. He need to open screen number four. All participants, please come on screen number four. Type here and click on packages. Click on packages button and search here within search bar ggplot2. I have this package ggplot2. It means this instrument is found in our lab, in my lab. I have this package, so I am typing here yes. If you have this package type, yes. If you don't have this package type, no. Please reply me, then I will move to next step. All participants, please check and confirm me. Have you this package in your R Studio lab or not? Just only one participant replied yes. Please all participant type yes or no. Okay, yes. Now I'm going to a uh, next step. Now we have this package. We don't need to install, but if your answer is no, then you need to install this package from install. Type here ggplot2. Select this one and click on install button. When you click on install button, uh, ggplot2 uh, will install after a few seconds. Okay. So next step is to turn on this instrument. For example, when you want to use your mobile phone, you need to turn on this device when you want to use any instrument in your lab you need to turn on when you want to use your car you need to turn on similarly in R, these packages are like a machine you need to turn on when you want to do work on this machine so for to turn on this package we need turn on Library, type here library, select and uh, type your package or machine name and run this package. Now our package is activated. No, I am going to uh, write a code for a plot. In our previous class, we already understand each plot have three component uh, like uh, data, mapping, and geometry. First step, we need to open, uh, yes, library is must. For example, uh, when you want to your mobile phone, you need to turn on it. Library mean turn on this device. ggplot2 is like a device. ggplot2 like is a machine. In or we say these machine are packages, but in our daily life, we say these are instruments, tools, or machine. So when you want to do work on any machine, uh, which is an electronics, you need to turn on this machine.
for example you want to do work on laptop you need to turn on you want to do uh, on your pc or on your mobile phone or uh, you want to drive your car you need to start so library mean turn on activate or start Uh, no, uh, Dr. Amir Han, it's clear why need library. Yes, for all tasks, uh, we use library. Uh, similarly, in your lab, you have different devices, you have different instruments. For example, when you want to use your torch, you need to turn on. When you want to use thermometer, uh, if it is electronic, you need to turn on and other devices you need to turn on when you want to do work on it. So ggplot 2 is like a machine, is like a instrument. You need to turn on before on working it. Okay, now uh, we need to open function. We already uh, understand. Uh, yes, Mohammed Amir, your mic is unmute. Uh, sir, in R, uh, for every uh, machine or for every package, we must try it before. Uh, running the package, we must write library for all functions or just for ggplot? Uh, sir, it's like that there are two types of packages in R. If you go to your lab, there are many devices in your lab. There are some devices that are electronic. There are some devices that are not electronic. Like a thermometer. तो वो आपको ऑन करने की जरूरत नहीं है उसको लेकिन अगर वो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक है तो वो आपको ऑन कर वो आपको ऑन करना पड़ेगा इसी तरह ये जो आपको एक लिस्ट शो हो रही है ना यहां पे सारे पैकेजेस हैं जब भी आपने किसी मशीन के ऊपर काम करना है तो आपने उस मशीन को ऑन करना है अब आर में दो तरह के पैकेजेस हैं कुछ पैकेजेस ऐसे होते हैं जो आर के बेसिक पैकेजेस हैं कुछ पैकेजेस ऐसे हैं जो हम इंस्टॉल करते हैं कुछ पैकेजेस ऐसे हैं जो हम इंस्टॉल करते हैं जो पैकेजेस हम इंस्टॉल करते हैं वो हमें ऑन करना पड़ते हैं लाइब्रेरी करना पड़ते हैं जो ऑलरेडी आर के अंदर मौजूद हैं वो हमें लाइब्रेरी नहीं करना पड़ता जी सर क्लियर है सर माइक मैंने आपका अनम्यूट कर दिया जी सर बताइएगा क्लियर है यस सर क्लियर है बिल्कुल ओके सर यस सर अभी क्लियर है मतलब आप कहते हैं कि स्पेसिफिक टास्क के लिए हमें लाइब्रेरी बनाना होगा और बाद हम डायरेक्टली ऑन कर सकते हैं लाइब्रेरी हमें बनाना नहीं होगा जी जी मैं आपको एक और एग्जांपल देता हूं मसलन ये जो है ना जीजी प्लॉट 2 ये एक मशीन है जो हमें ग्राफ बना के देती है जी सर जी सर ठीक है अब मशीन कोई भी मशीन हो जब हम उससे कोई काम लेते हैं तो उस मशीन को पहले हम ऑन करते हैं लाइब्रेरी का मतलब है ऑन करना जी सर ठीक है तो इंस्टॉल का मतलब वो मशीन हम उसको अपनी लैब में ले आएंगे जब हम उसके पे वर्क करना है तो हमने उसको ऑन करना सही है सर सही है मतलब पहले इंस्टॉलेशन है उसके बाद हम उसको ऑन करेंगे हां तो बाद का ऐसा होता है कि वो लैब वो आपके पास अवेलेबल है आप देखें जीजी प्लॉट 2 हमारे पास अवेलेबल था हम बार बार उसको इंस्टॉल तो नहीं करेंगे ना देखिए आपका कोई एक डिवाइस है डेंटिस्ट से रिलेटेड मुझे किसी एक डिवाइस का नाम बताइएगा जो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक हो जी जी एपिक्स लोकेटर ठीक है अब वो लोकेटर जो है वो आप एक ही दफा परचेस करके लाएंगे ना जी सर कि बार-बार हम उसको परचेस करेंगे नहीं एक बार परचेस करेंगे बार-बार उसको ऑन करेंगे जब हम उस पे वर्क करेंगे तो उसको ऑन कर लेंगे जब वर्क खत्म हो जाएगा तो ऑफ हो जाएगा सही है सर ओके सर थैंक यू समझ आ गया जी जी आर के अंदर पैकेजेस भी यही हैं पैकेजेस आपने समझना है कि ये डिवाइस है आपका जी सर जी सर ठीक है उसको इंस्टॉल एक बार कर लेना है वो हमारे आर में फिट हो जाएगा जी सर जी सर
ಸಮಾಜ ಹಾಕಿ ಸರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು okay uh, next step is uh, first you need to uh, turn on function uh, you know each device have many functions for example uh, mobile phone is a device is a package and the tasks you which you can complete by using your mobile phone these are the function for example you can call message take picture play games and many more all these are the function so these are the functions of mobile similarly each package have lot of functions if you click on this ggplot2 it will show you a list of functions available for this package so you can perform these task by using ggplot2 no our task is creating plot so for creating plot you can use two function within ggplot2 so package name each package have functions so package is ggplot2 package is ggplot2 and each package have many functions but it up to you or up to me which function we want to use for example we want to draw plot we need q plot function or another plot dg plot we can use two functions for creating a plot so the first one is q plot when you need a quick plot if your supervisor say please just draw a simple plot and uh, just we want to see a rough plot your supervisor just want to see highest or lowest values then you need to use q plot but if your supervisor say please draw plot and uh, he want to publish then you need ggplot2 if your supervisor say just uh, draw plot i want to check the highest or lowest values then you need to use qplot but if your supervisor say please draw plot uh, we want or i want to publish this data then you need to use ggplot ggplot mean grammar of graphics and qplot mean quick plot quick plot and ggplot mean grammar of graphics you can apply grammar of graphics or you can apply graphics to improve uh, visualization of this plot okay no uh, type qplot so first to library and type qpl when you type qpl it will give you suggestions it will give you suggestions and uh, i think we already have done this step so i am uh, writing this code speedily you follow me and uh, if uh, you get any error let me know so first we need to provide three things data mapping here are three things here is the data type here data equal ficus comma no provide x axis and y axis so in our previous class we have learned uh, we need to write 
correct spelling and uh, correct upper or lower case letter. So here is a trick. Type ficus and dollar sign. Here is a new word for you, dollar sign in R and select this one. After your file, when you type dollar sign, it will show you list of your variable. So here is the new word of R dollar sign. Dollar sign mean list of variables. Yeah, it's mean uh, all variables in your data will be shown when you type dollar sign after your file name. Okay. After typing this, selecting this, delete this one. Again, type comma. Again, type ficus. Again, dollar sign. It will show again you a new list. Select pattern length. Again, delete dollar sign and ficus. Comma. Now we need to provide geometry. For geometry, type here geom. Geom equal with an inverted comma. Type point and run. Now you will get a uh, point plot. When you uh, please all participants run this step. And share within group. No. Dr. Uh, Mandretto uh, want to show this plant to his supervisor. When he uh, show this plot to his supervisor, his supervisor say, uh, plot is good, but uh, it does not show the name of species of the highest value. So here is the highest point, and here is the lowest point, but his supervisor want to know which species belong to this point and which species belong to this point. So he need to differentiate or apply color based on species. So comma type here color equal species and run this code. Now you will get a colorful plot. Copy, open WhatsApp and share. All participants create plot and type done. Then I will move to next step. So here is the point plot. Now we will create a lot of plots uh, based on this data. So all participants please uh, create plot. Uh, share within group or you can also share within ch zoom chat and type done so here is heading is point plot if you are facing any issue please let me know i am waiting for your reply so in today meeting uh, seven parts spent or uh, taking class, just only uh, one participant have replied done. So all participants, please type done. Type done, type done, type done. Uh, hello, sir. Yes. 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 Last, last, last time I, I did it, but now I just opened the, my R studio. Okay, please, can, not... you can you share your screen? Okay. Okay. Other participants, please uh, create this plot and share within group.
and please import ficus file browse click on browse button yes find file yes open uh, import import yes uh, Unt click on untitled file yes and don't need to do a uh, read excel type uh, do library ggplot2 ggplot2 run this code okay it show that there is no package called ggplot2 it indicate that you don't have device for example i say please call me but you don't have mobile phone how can you call me you first need to arrange mobile phone so first arrange ggplot2 click on install button click on install button type here ggplot2 select one second one Install Please wait 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 it's working don't need to install wait uh, When you see our red dot in screen number two you don't need to do anything on R because R is in process or in working condition. So you don't need to disturb. Okay, no apply library. Click on library. Uh, you need to type yes. Type here yes. In screen number two, type yes. And run message. Click on run button. Okay. Uh, you need to again install this package. Come on install button. Yes, type here ggplot2. No, type yes on screen number one. Yes, and run, yes. Select yes. Please select yes, yes. No. Sir, why you write here yes? Uh, you can see a message in screen number two in blue lines. Do you want to install from source the package which need completions you need to type yes yes we want to complete this step no please in the screen two. Oh. 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 don't need to write yes you have write yes in screen number one no r is in working I don't know what's happened with my R. Last time I saw this this library. Why didn't they ask me to install it again? Because you have a oldest version in your uh, R console. It is 4.2.3. Have you update, uh, updated it in 4.4.1 or not? Uh, please click on tool on your screen number one in red line. 
first line which is a red color uh, showing tools on first line above this white line yes 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 you can see a button name tools above the above this yes first is our studio file code here is a tool click on global option click on global option uh, click on browse cancel cancel you need to install latest version of all uh, in your r studio only r 4.2.3 is available okay Uh, I am sharing my screen. Okay, okay. okay. I think my ggplot is already done. It's already done. It's already done. Install already source. Done. No, it is working. No. But you need to install uh, latest version of R. Okay. Uh, okay. Please. I think I don't want to spend more time. I think I think you can continue. Okay. Uh, uh, you uh, you can discuss me with uh, uh, today uh, uh, tomorrow uh, morning or uh, first you need to install latest version and then uh, share screen with me uh, i will guide you and then uh, you can do it easily okay thank you okay uh, you can uh, see in my screen here is the latest version the latest. on screen number uh, 2 4.4.1 but in your case, here is 4.2.3. You have older version. Okay, okay, I see it. Okay. Now the next step. No, Dr. Mandranto supervisor say, please draw line plot. Line plot. So uh, he just copy this code. Copy this code, paste here, and just replace point with the line. And run. No. Line plot have been created. Copy this code, plot, and share within group. All participants, please type done. If you have done this step, have successfully created line plot. Okay. No, Dr. Mandranto supervisor say, please draw smooth plot. Smooth plot. You need to do copy again. Copy this code and paste here. And just replace line with smooth and run this code you will get a smooth plot copy this code and share within group No, uh, Dr. Mandranto have successfully done this plot. No, his supervisor say, please draw a uh, box plot. He just need to replace smooth with box plot. Run this code, you will get box plot 
copy this plot and share within group. All participants, please uh, do this practice and share plot within group. No. Again. Uh, Hello. Sir, can yes. you can you this replace with the bar graph? Yes, yes, I am work, uh, working on. You can create bar graph. Okay. No, I want to perform bar graph or histogram. First, we create histogram histogram because uh, bar graph uh, have uh, some or uh, histogram have some statistics so it is complicated as compared to other simple plots so first i want to create histogram no code this copy this code Copy, paste here, and just replace histogram and run. When you run this code, it will show you an error. It show that stat bin. It's mean histogram need our statistics. Histogram need a statistics must only have an X or Y aesthetic. There are two, op two options. So you can apply that, or you just need to provide X or Y axis. Here are two axes, X axis and Y axis. But the requirement of histogram is only one axis. You need to provide uh, data only on one axis. So, Remove one axis It show that must only have an X or Y aesthetic. So for histogram, we need X axis or Y axis. Now run this code again. Now you can, uh, you will get histogram. Here is the histogram plot. Copy. Paste. Uh, Doctor Amir, sir, you have message. जी सर सर आपका स्क्रीन नजर नहीं आ रहा है सॉरी स्क्रीन तो शो हो रहा है मेरा मैं काइंडली ऑल पार्ट मेन स्क्रिप्ट का स्क्रीन नजर नहीं आ रहा है अच्छा मेन स्क्रिप्ट का वो तो मैंने अभी ये देखा ना ये मेन स्क्रिप्ट है ये शेयर हो रहा है Actually, I share Okay. Yes, sir. No. Okay. Yes, sir. No, you need to uh, create bar graph. Uh, copy this and share within group. Now create bar graph. Type here bar. Again, copy this code, complete code, because in histogram, we have removed one axis. So again, copy the code, which have both axis, X and Y axis. Uh, replace bar with and run. Bar plot show that stat count. So stat is required for bar plot. R only have an X or Y static or provide X or Y axis. For bar graph, you also need a single axis. So I want to remove first one and run. 
no you will get a get a bar plot copy and share within group now your supervisor say please draw density plot Your but why game... bar graph is different from the other graph like line graph and the histogram oh this because this is a different type of graph each type is different from other each graph have different but, uh, properties but the line and histogram are also different so why their command is same lines are same but lines are uh, white plot is same but these lines are white and in uh, bar plot Sir, more lines my question is my my question is this you Sir, my question is this: You tell us that uh, uh, bar graph is different from the other graph. Yes. So line graph, uh, line graph, and histogram are also different from each other. Why their command is same, and uh, bar uh, graph command is different? Because it is a requirement of graph. Each graph have a different requirement. Here you need. Sir, a... but the uh, remaining uh, graph have the same command. You enter the same command. You not change uh, sir, even single आपको... word in sir, the other. Sir, I am telling you. 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 Sir, I am आपके कहने का जी मैं 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 कंप्लीट कर लो सर आपके कहने का मकसद ये कि लाइन और स्मूथ और बॉक्स प्लॉट और हिस्टोग्राम इन सब का कमांड एक जैसे होगा और बार ग्राफ का अलग होगा सर कमांड उनका भी सेम है कमांड में कोई डिफरेंस नहीं है हमने सिर्फ एक्स एक्सिस रिमूव किया है देखें वो हमने एरर जब आया ना हमारे पास तो एरर हमें बता रहा है आर हमें बता रहा है कि अगर आपने हिस्टोग्राम बनाना है या आपने बार ग्राफ बनाना है तो उसके लिए आपको इस तरह की अरेंजमेंट रिक्वायर्ड है या आपने उसके ऊपर स्टेट अप्लाई करनी है या उसमें से आपने एक एक्सेस प्रोवाइड करना है एक्स एक्सेस या वाई एक्सेस ये आपको आर दोनों क्यों नहीं प्रोवाइड कर सकते हैं क्या जब आपने दोनों प्रोवाइड करने हैं फिर आपने साथ स्टेट, 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 स्टेट दोनों, दोनों हम क्यों नहीं डाल सकते जब आपने दोनों अप्लाई करने हैं तो उसको स्टेट प्रोवाइड करनी है और दोनों इसलिए नहीं डाल सकते क्योंकि ये जो कोडिंग है या इसका जो फार्मूला है ना ये फिक्स्ड है लाइन ग्राफ के लिए आप दोनों एक्सिस पे क्रिएट कर सकते हैं एक्स और वाई एक्सिस दोनों यूज कर सकते हैं ठीक है ये देखें ये फार्मूले में मैं एरर दे रहा है ये फार्मूले से हम हट गए हैं ना जैसे वो आ, हम पढ़ते रहे एक्स प्लस वाई तो अगर हम वहाँ पर आप पूछें कि आपने इसमें यहाँ पर डब्ल्यू क्यू नहीं लिख सकते वो फार्मूला ही वो फिक्स है ठीक है सही है सर ये जो हमने ये कोड जो रन कर रहे हैं ना फंक्शन ये वाला क्यू प्लाट इसके बैक पे फार्मूला चल रहा होता है इसके बैक पे कोडिंग है जो हमें प्लाट क्रिएट करके देती है हम यहाँ पे इसको टाइप बताते हैं वो हमें उस टाइप का प्लाट क्रिएट करके दे देती है लेकिन जब हम आते हैं हिस्टोग्राम तो के टाइप के ऊपर जी 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 सर बोलें हम अगर सपोज कल को स्टूडेंट को ये आर प्रोग्राम पढ़ाए और उनको हम कहें कि जी आपने लाइन और हिस्टोग्राम में ये चीजें पोर्ट करनी है ग्राफ में ये चीज आपने चेंज करनी है बार ग्राफ में तो उसके लिए हम स्टूडेंट को क्या जस्टिफिकेशन देंगे उनके क्वेश्चन का आंसर हम किस तरह देंगे सर, उनके क्वेश्चन का आंसर ये तो है आपने, आपने एक... उनको ये नहीं बताना कि आपने यहाँ पे लग कोड देना है वहां पे लग कोड देना ठीक है जब आप कोड रन करेंगे ना आर हु आपको अपनी डिमांड बताएगा ये देखिये ये मुझे आर ने बताया मैंने खुद से नहीं आपको बताया कहाँ पे बताएगा सर ये स्क्रीन ये शायद आपने मिस कर दिया स्टेप Uh, मैं आपको दोबारा रन करके दिखाता हूँ ये देखिएगा ये ये कोड कंप्लीट है मेरे पास मैं इसको कॉपी करता हूँ 
यहाँ पे पेस्ट कर देता हूँ मैं इसे कहता हूँ ये बार ग्राफ बना के दें अब मैं इसको रन करता हूँ देखें जैसे मैंने रन किया ना उसने मुझे एरर दे दिया नीचे शो हुआ है स्क्रीन नंबर टू पे सर शो हो रहा है आपको एरर जी एरर कास्ट जी एरर हाँ? वो कह रहा है एक्स मस्ट मस्ट ऑनली हैव एन एक्स आर वाई स्थेटिक वो कह रहा है अगर आप बार ग्राफ बनाना चाह रहे हैं तो आपने एक ही एक्सिस देना है एक्स एक्सिस या वाई एक्सिस इसका मतलब है बार ग्राफ की रिक्वायरमेंट है ये ये मैं अपनी तरफ से नहीं इसको बता रहा या कोई आ, आ, कोई और इसको अपनी तरफ से नहीं बता रहा ये बार ग्राफ आर आपको बहुत सारी चीज़ें बताएगा जो उसकी रिक्वायरमेंट है ओके okay, सर इसमें हम सिर्फ एक एक्स डालेंगे वाई ये खुद ही डिटरमिन करेगा हाँ आपने इसको एक एक देना है ठीक है वो आपको बार ग्राफ क्योंकि इसमें सिंगल बार ग्राफ बना रहा है ना बार आपको बना के दे रहा है लेकिन मेरी वेरिएबल तो हमारे पास दो होते हैं एक्स पे भी होता है वाई पे भी होता है तो हम जब एक देंगे तो ये ऑटोमेटिकली दूसरा खुद ही बना के देगा नहीं सर एक्स पे हम देंगे फैक्टर वेरिएबल जैसे स्पीशीज है ना ये देखें हमारे पास आ, मैं आपको डाटा शो करता हूँ ये वाला जो है ना हमारे पास फैक्टर ये वाला एस वन एस टू एस थ्री ये हम रखेंगे एक्स एक्सिस पे ये जो है ना वन टू थ्री फोर ये हम रखेंगे वाई एक्सिस पे एक्स एक्स ये भी हमने सिंगल जो है ना वो बना रहे हैं सिंगल वेरिएबल के ऊपर और हम बना रहे हैं पेट्रल विथ और दोनों जो है वो कंटिन्यूस वेरिएबल हैं दोनों नमेरिक वेरिएबल हैं ये हम अभी जो है ना वो आप इस पर कन्फ्यूज ना हो अभी हम और डिटेल में आएंगे जब हम तमाम वेरिएबल्स के ऊपर प्लाट क्रिएट करेंगे ना तो फिर आपको ये कन्फ्यूजन क्लियर हो जाएगी जब हम इस पर स्टैट अप्लाई करेंगे क्योंकि ये जो हिस्टोग्राम है और बार ग्राफ है ना और डेंसिटी प्लाट है ये स्टेटिस्टिक पे अप्लाई होते हैं स्टैटिस्टिक मीन के मीन वैल्यू पे अप्लाई okay, हो गया यानी ये देखें ना ये डाटा हमारे पास जो है ये ये डाटा है रेप्लीकेटेड ठीक है जब हम इस पर लगाएंगे ना बार ग्राफ तो बार ग्राफ क्या करेगा इसकी मीन निकालेगा मैं आपको दिखाता हूँ पॉइंट ग्राफ और बार ग्राफ में हाँ ये देखें पॉइंट ग्राफ में इसने क्या किया कि आपके तमाम पॉइंट्स यहाँ पे शो किए हैं ग्राफ के ऊपर ठीक है लेकिन ये जो दो तीन प्लाट हैं एक डेंसिटी प्लाट है एक जो है बार ग्राफ है और एक हिस्टोग्राम है इसके लिए स्टैट लाजमी है इसकी बेसिक जो है वो स्टैटिस्टिक पे ये पहले मीन निकलेगी और मीन के ऊपर बार ग्राफ क्रिएट होता है तो यहाँ पर भी ये देखें ये कह रहा है स्टैट काउंट अगर यहाँ पे हम स्टैट काउंट अप्लाई करेंगे वो हम बाद में अभी सीखेंगे कि हमने इसके ऊपर स्टैट काउंट कैसे अप्लाई करनी है जब हम इसके ऊपर स्टैट काउंट अप्लाई करेंगे तो फिर ये मल्टीपल वेरिएबल्स के लिए एप्लीकेबल होगा अभी तो आप इस पर कंफ्यूज ना हो अभी जस्ट आप इसकी जो है वो रीडिंग और राइटिंग देखें अगर आपके पास एक कोड सक्सेसफुली रन हो चुका है इट्स ओके okay. अगले स्टेप में आप सीखेंगे कि अगर आप मल्टीपल वेरिएबल्स के दरमियान प्लाट क्रिएट करना चाह रहे हैं तो वो कैसे क्रिएट करेंगे अभी यहाँ पे आप आपके पास एक एक्सिस में एक्सिस आएंगे ये देखें मेरे पास शो हो रहा है एस वन एस टू एस थ्री ये आपके पास शो होंगे यहाँ पे एस वन में पहले में टू में थ्री में और यहाँ पे आपके पास जो है ना दूसरे वेरिएबल्स आ रहे होंगे जब बार ग्राफ बनाएंगे जी सर क्लियर है हेलो हेलो सर मेरी आवाज आ रही है सर ओके आज यू सी आई आई सेंड माय माय ग्राफिक्स ऑल इन द ग्रुप बट आई हैव प्रॉब्लम इन द बार ग्राफिक आई डोंट ओके 
uh, for gra uh, bar graph, you need just only one axis. Uh, you need to provide uh, one uh, variable name. For example, uh, it show me error. Uh, X uh, must only have X or Y aesthetic. So for bar graph, uh, bar plot or histogram, you need only X axis. So provide here just one axis and run this plot. Oh, okay. It will show you the bar graph. No, if you want to uh, do histogram, sorry, density plot, again, copy this code, complete code with full variables, both variables X and Y axis, paste here and run this code and replace box plot with density. Also replace box plot with density. And run. It show you could not find the function geom density. It means there is a spelling mistake. No, it show you again error. I require the following missing a static y. It show you for density plot, you need y axis, just only y axis. But in bar graph, you need, you may provide x axis or y axis. In uh, a histogram, you may apply x or y axis, but in density, it show you just provide y axis or one axis. So I am going to delete x-axis and run this code. Now, you can get a density plot. Now, if you want to fill color within this plot, just click on air type fill equal, sorry, species and run. It will show you the plot, uh, density plot with field color. Copy this plot and share within group. Okay, okay. Can you give color to the bar graph? Yes, you can apply uh, to bar graph. Here is the bar graph. Apply fill equal species. Uh, we will learn formatting uh, in uh, coming classes. So you can apply color. You can also change these colors according to your demand, according to your desire. Uh, you can change can it. You red show to your green. Screen. screen is not showing. My screen is uh, on. Other parts, friend, please let me know. Are you uh, seeing my screen? Yes or no? I think my screen is visible and sharing. Uh, please confirm my screen is visible. I'm, I'm seeing your screen. Seeing your screen. Your screen. Uh, please send message. Yes or no? Yeah, my screen is visible, sir. Yes, it's visible. Let me share it again. Okay. No, uh, we have lot of type of plots. If you just type here geom, all participants please uh, listen carefully. If you just type here geom, it will show you a list of all possible plots which you can draw in R, in R by using ggplot2 package. When you just click type geom, I am again typing here geom, all participant, please uh, type geom. When I type geom, it will show me the list of all possible plot, which I can draw by using ggplot2 package. Again type geom. 
and select first one. Again, type geom, type second one. Again, type, again, type geom, select third one. Again, type geom, type fourth one. So you don't, uh, you need to select all plots, try all plots by using this code. So you need to copy this word after underscore and before brackets. Copy and replace with code with have both axes and run. It shows you a blind plot. Again, copy area plot, copy, paste area. It shows you the area plot. No, you want to create bar plot, copy and replace area with bar and run. It will show you error. You need only one axis, provide X or Y axis. So delete one axis and run this code again. And then you need to again copy bin 2D copy this code and run this code on complete code with uh, both axes. So replace bar with bin 2D, run this plot, you will get this type of plot. No again type here, geom. No next is uh, box plot, color plot. Just you need to type col, copy and Replace bin 2D with COL. And run. It will show you column plot. Copy and share. So it is your task or it is your assignment. Do all plots. Just take name by typing geom and select and apply. Select this one, just name, just copy, replace and run. It will show me geom crossbar require the following missing aesthetic. Y minimum, Y maximum. It's mean it require a uh, error bar. Maybe positive or negative values. So the plot which created copy and share group will show you error. Try to understand error. Uh, if it's showing just simple, uh, you need X axis or you need Y axis. Adjust this code or delete or uh, add access and run this code again, it will work. But if you are unable to find error, unable to understand error, don't uh, waste time on this plot. If it shows you error like this, ignore and move to next step and move to next plot. For example, you want to create again type here geom geom underscore and uh, frequent, uh, frequency plots just copy and replace smooth with frequency and run. It show that for frequency plot, you only need X or Y set. So remove X axis and run this plot. So here is the frequency plot. You can also fill uh, this plot, fill equal species and run. Uh, 
Dr. Atik, I have my question. It's like, now, can you run this thing with yeah. if you have like, uh, if you have 20 variables or 15 variables, you can yeah. also do the same? Yeah, please. For big data. Yes, uh, we are, I my am, point is I, for big already, data. I already have at, at the start, um, I have, we are just uh, do, doing practice on reading and writing. We are not creating a plot. Okay. We will, we will work on plotting after when we have learned reading and writing. This is, uh, this visualization is just for practice. Basically, today we okay. are uh, learning on reading and writing. We have read a code okay. and uh, we are uh, understanding errors. In upcoming classes, okay. inshallah, we will learn how to create a plot on multiple variables or multiple data. Okay. 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 So it is your task to you know, uh, <clears throat> draw all these plots by using if plot me, created. Uh, okay. Great. If uh, show you error, if you are able to read this error, good. If unable to read, don't waste time. Move to next plot. Yes, sir. 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 Uh, yes, can please. You hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, mine, or please, what is the difference and use of this, like, uh, what to what say, the color and the fill? All these plots are uh, actually uh, showing me uh, on same data, but uh, the purpose of density plot, bar plot, and uh, histogram is different. Uh, but uh, uh, today we are just uh, working on reading and writing. We are not exploring any plot. When we come on these plots, then we will discuss what is the difference between all these plots and why uh, these values are uh, some way different from each other. This uh, actually uh, on behind these plots are some statistics works. And each statistics mm -hmm. have different visualization. Mm -hmm. Uh, can I just make sure my screen okay. is just going to ask when we you. when we work on uh, analysis statistics like ANOVA, bar graph, and other tools, then we will discuss in details. No, we are just uh, working on or learning how to read and write a code and successfully. Um, so, run. so you mean like uh, for next classes we will learn about? How yes, we will to... uh, learn a lot of but... analysis. You will perform many analysis but... you will be able to do uh, on your own data. Yeah, for example, uh, you will learn about uh, the meaning of all of the grammar, the grammar in this software. For example, we we have a color equal spe uh, species and we also have field equal species. That's what I want to understand. Like what exactly the difference between these two? Uh, species? The field and call. Call means color, right? Column. Column? The will mean column, column plot. It will show, uh, actually this is the type of visualization. Data is same, just visualization is different. You can visualize uh, your plot in the form of column, you can visualize your plot in the form of box plot, you can visualize in the form of point. It's up to you or up to your supervisor which visualization uh, you can demand. Okay. Mm, so both of it are, uh, uh, can, you can use both of it for uh, what to say, um, classification, right? For Specifier. classification. The fill and call. Fee? Because during the previous class, to learn about call means the color, right? Give it the color or uh, the color of the graph. Uh, you want the screen uh, you number four. Uh, uh, you want to uh, underst uh, understand something in your uh, screen number four? Uh, can I can I can I please share my screen? Yes. For me to more. Explain about my question. Okay, please share your screen. And uh, participant from batch forty-two uh, have been joined. So please uh, 
ask question. Can you see my screen? Yes, I can uh, see your screen. Yeah, I mean the different of this. Color, this is the color. All... Yeah, the yes. color when you, and when you type, when you this type, one. When you type Wait, after please. color mean, uh, this. yes, fill mean filling. Fill and color. Fill mean uh, color fill. When you type column, color, it will just boundary wall color. You can see in plot just boundary wall color. When you apply fill, it will fill color within uh, this boundary. Like you can see in this plot, here is the uh, fill. Oh, I understand, I understand. Okay. Here I am oh. mentioning here. Here is fill. So if when you, you fill... choose, you use color that will give you uh, only the, the form of the, the mean graph color. or bar. C-O-L mean color. Yeah, so fill is to give the full. Fill mean, fill uh, give you the color, color within the plot. The bar. While color give uh, colors outside the plot or boundary wall. Uh, all right, got it, got it. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Now my uh, next class have been started and uh, batch 41 can leave. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Yeah, welcome. Uh, sir, can you please tell your area of expertise? Yeah, plant sciences. Plant sciences. So you are uh, working in some specific related to which domain? Association mapping. Okay, all right. Genetic so, diversity. My last question is, if I want to use DID or I want to use system dynamic, can also, can this thing work? R? Uh, ID. DID, system dynamic. Please repeat your question. I'm like, if I use, if I'm using the method of system dynamic or DID, can this work? Yes, you can apply uh, this on all field type of studies. This is the just basic when you, okay. uh, this uh, uh, example is like a car driving. When you uh, okay. have learned about driving, you can drive your car anywhere, any route. So for okay. example, routes are okay. different subject. If you okay, if you can run R, you can do analysis on biological field, on your engineering field, on other fields related to you. Okay, fine. Thank you. Okay, thank you.